you think of all the great people that you coached or you coached with that you and, and really for me and, and for us i guess i could speak for is the impact you had on those players i mean they they he impacted my life hugely you know th those things are because of jimmy johnson we got 75,000. there's one in every seat and they came here to see hurricane football get up girl on offense make sure it's a complete ball game today a complete ball game from the very first whistle offense defense the kicking game let's go like a bunch of crazy men and play some games i just think back to all the the speeches and Thursday night speeches and the, the three games and the Friday night up at Miami Lakes. Uh, I was always uh, centered about being the best. And, and that's what always rings in my memory about the 87 season, about walking off the field, being the best. How does it feel, Jimmy? I don't know, I can't feel anything. It's, it's fantastic. I say these guys, it's unbelievable what this University of Miami football team's been through the last four years. Everybody throws rocks at us, but I tell you what, they have got heart, they work so hard. And I tell you what, they showed exactly the type of people they are here tonight. Unbelievable. Last night, but now it really gets cooking. Look at Jimmy Johnson. The demons are gone. He's a national championship coach. Locked in the ball. Irvin is open. Touchdown, Miami. You know, we played hard for 60 minutes in every game, regardless of the opponent, regardless of the score. But it made me a better coach. It, it really prepared me for the NFL. You know, I figured out that my strength was evaluating talent. That's what I learned about myself at the University of Miami is really play to my strength, evaluating talent. I think our players realized we were all in it together. They realized uh, you, you got to have credibility either from past performances or the way you work or your work ethic, you know, the way you treat them, etc. cetera. And, and I had credibility with those players. I had credibility with all my players, and they knew I was going to work as hard, if not harder, than they were working. But you did what I asked you to do when we went out on the field, and that's to give it your all, play hurricane football. There's only one way we know how to play the game. But all we talk about is Miami hurricane football. I swear, he does not miss a beat on that. I mean, he can tell you, and his love for Miami and the university, I mean, his Super Bowls and Arkansas Hall, all that stuff might be nice, but there's, I know the place that's closest to his heart. There's no doubt about that. I didn't even know anything about Dade County or Broward County or South Florida. All I knew was Miami Beach. And, you know, I kind of like the idea of being close to the water, which I love, and being in a city, and especially for a program like University of Miami. I coached, you know, for 35 years or so, you know, throughout the country. And I don't know of any place that I ever coached or ever even, even visited that the players and the students and anybody that goes to University of Miami, especially with the athletic program, have such love for the university. And you look at the players, the great players that have been at Miami that come back and go on the sidelines and how much they love, you know, their school. And everybody loves their school, don't get me wrong. But I think there's something special about Miami.